Today on this program, evil confronts the most evil and nastiest G-forces on this planet. Oh. Here comes the cute. Evil starts out in the south of France. 1G means normal gravity force, but what if more Gs act upon him? What kind of harm will they do to his body? Stop number one, the Circuit du Val, a former Formula One test track. There are numerous machines at hand for race lovers, and there's a special one awaiting evil. Europe's only Formula One two-seater. Just as fast as a Formula One race car, but built for two. At the steering wheel, Sébastien Renault. Uh, Formula One has the highest G-forces of anything in motorsport. Yeah, uh, how many G-forces can so we expect to So you can uh, go on different tracks, you can reach uh, four, four Gs in the corners and reach Gs for the braking force around 2.5 Gs. Uh, it's a rocket with wheels. Is this gonna make me sick today? I hope not. <laughs> in the early 90s, this car, still as a one-seater, roared across the tracks for the French Formula One racing team, AGS. And even today, in spite of some remodeling, the X2 is still extremely evil. 650 horsepower, 3.5 liter cubic capacity, and eight cylinders, weighing just about 605 kilograms. Wow, sitting in a Formula One car, I've never been in one before, but this is, uh, this is a lot tighter than it looks like on TV. And much more uncomfortable too, as evil becomes aware of right away. Oh yeah, I'm in nice and tight now. <laughs> and off we go, onto the two kilometer long racetrack. This reminds me a lot of uh, a go-kart I had when I was a kid. Yeah, but that had just about 640 horsepower less. And it's those horsepower that give Evil a foretaste of what's in store for him. Oh my God. The braking acts upon him with 1.7 G. And from the side, he has to endure 2.4 G in the most extreme curves. This causes a lot of chaos. His brain, his organs, and even his blood are constantly moving every time the car accelerates, brakes, and turns into a curve. Because the organs are fitted relatively loosely inside the body. Still a long way to go to reach the aspired 10G, but. My stomach's right now. Oh my god. Let's see how these guys do this without puking all the time. But coming up, the G pressure will get much more evil. The fighter jet Hawker Hunter is a waiting evil with a top speed just below the sonic barrier and technically designed for up to 10 G. But before evil is allowed to step inside, he has to withstand 8 G first at the Military Institute for Aviation Medicine in Warsaw. So far, just under two and a half G have upset his stomach. Here is where things are gonna start to get a little bit rough. I've seen this in movies like Moonraker and uh, Spies Like Us, and it's where the face is always you know, going like this. So, I'm uh, very interested to see what this thing actually does to me. And I noticed they've thought of everything, just like in the seat back on your 747, they've got, uh, you got the barf bag here. Probably get to use this a little bit later. That's very possible. Nothing has been as evil as this yet. I'm uh, quite excited to get this thing started. No problem. Just quickly close the door of this heavy gondola weighing 350 kilograms. But evil is not all on his own in there. He's in permanent contact with the control center. These guys can always intervene if he blacks out or has to throw up. Three Gs. Remember to breathe. Four Gs. 
Evil's heartbeat gets faster. Breathing is hard for him. His muscles give in to the forces. Five Gs. It's, it's enough. Good, uh, 5.2 AG. Not bad, but the doctor has to stop him now. Even if Evil didn't notice himself, he was on the brink of passing out. All right, legs are, legs are a little shaky, but I managed to remain conscious. I didn't lose too much of my vision, maybe a little bit around the edges. It will get even more incredible because now Evil has to undergo a flight simulation inside the centrifuge. That means harsh, abrupt movements. A good preparation for the upcoming fighter jet flight. This way, he'll get a feel for the forces that will act upon him during a real flight. Okay, Jared, are you ready to start? I'm ready. Starting now. The simulated flight lasts 10 minutes, the toughest test for Evil's body. Switching control to the pilot in three, two, one, now. It's all yours. And of course, Evil wants to test his limits. To stay concentrated, under these circumstances, quite an evil thing to achieve. Apart from a few facial lapses, Evil is doing quite well, but one thing is still missing. Jared, are you okay? I think that should, what I should be singing. Oh, sing, can you sing? Oh, the dawn early light was so proudly we held at the twilight's last week. For the red parts be So that's what G-forces sound like coming from inside the throat. Bravo! <laughs> And a few loops to follow up. Evil has 5G forces acting on him again, but this time even for several seconds. He's never tried that before. Uh, uh. Acceleration during flight was 5.02 Gs. So. Five yeah. Now comes the last and most evil part of Evil's G forces mission through the air in a fighter jet. All right, nose is starting to come up. We got it 80, we just stopped. Let's take off. Because the airport is surrounded by high mountains, Eric has to soar up immediately. The Hawker Hunter can soar up to 40 meters per second after takeoff. Evil immediately starts to react to the extreme climb. But the pilot hasn't even started his flight program. A few minutes later, they reach the designated area. We're ready to drop some uh, G-Force. OK, you ready? OK. It starts very, very innocuously with half a roller. Standard maneuver. Oh, yeah, I'm really feeling the G-Forces now. Yeah. And once again, since it was so nice. We have three and a half G now. Okay. Such maneuvers are essential for survival in combat. Through such a half roller or a nosedive, the pilot can evade enemy fire in an emergency. Just by watching, the stomach turns upside down. Not good enough for evil, he wants to be truly evil. Hey, so we're gonna black out, now's the time, right? The air gets damn thin at 5,000 meters up. If you add the G-forces, which stop the blood from being properly pumped through your body even more, quite an evil experience. Oh. 
<laughs> Luckily, as always, he had a meager hotel breakfast. You can put your mask on, okay? Yeah, easier said than done. How do I clip it on? Okay, I can help you a little bit. Okay, move to the left. There you are. Because now the most evil part of the flight is about to start. A loop with a radius of several kilometers. The pilot's assignment, reach 10G. And this is the precise moment evil starts chirping like a nightingale. Even though Evil is still a good distance away from the aspired 10G, these 7.2G have brought him to his limits. To go higher could lead to a dangerous blackout and possible brain damage. Eric, the pilot, decides to head back to the airbase. A unique experience for evil. A feeling as if he was carrying 690 kilograms. Not everyone would be able to endure this without blacking out. Oh my God, that was intense. Seven and a half Gs, upside down, 7,000 meters. I've never done anything like that before. You know the feeling you get when you take off in like a 737? Imagine that times like a hundred. The ears popping, the pressure, the, 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 the way it feels like your, your chest is being crushed a little bit. It was, yeah. When, when you got up there and we were, we were, the G-force were pressing down on us, it was almost impossible to raise your hands up. And I'm guessing that is, uh, that is G-forces at work. Evil didn't get to 10G, but those 7G have brought him to his limits. Shortage of breath, reduced field of vision, loss of body control, but even so, Evil always was and still is a tough bastard. Thank you, thank you so much. That was great. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I managed to, to, to stay conscious. 7.2 G on you. That was 7.2. Yes. Wow. Well, oh, maybe three or something. Yeah, like I know that. I've been running my mouth about yeah, wanting to get the 10 Gs. I don't think after this, I don't think I want to get the 10 Gs. Believe 7.2. It's plenty for me. We agree. Thanks, Evil. <laughs> 